Hello and welcome to part 10 of Talking Socks. Today we're going to um, sort out the kitchen stitch and I don't know anybody that goes yay kitchen stitch and it's tricky if you're not concentrating but if you absolutely give it 100% attention don't have the radio on, don't have your phone nearby, just absolutely concentrate on what you're doing and I, trust me you can do it okay I say don't have your phone anywhere nearby I actually have a photograph of the kitchen stitch in my little knit folder um, in my photos and I look at that so I've got it repeated and essentially it's it's this this is what I've written down um, so I'll, I'll put this at the end as a screenshot and then maybe you might like to save that as a screenshot on your phone for when you're doing the kitchen a stitch so you've got it in front of you um, but you absolutely have to have no distractions my family know not to talk to me at all when I'm doing the end of my of my sock so the kitchen stitch so you need your darning needle for this I've cut my yarn and I've got perhaps 25 30 centimeters there don't need very much so I thread my yarn onto my needle okay okay so the first two stitches that you do on the kitchen stitch are just to stabilize the end of your stitches so that they don't come off your needles and you don't end up with a um, with a drop stitch down the side so the front is a purl on so if I was to go that way that's knitting that way's purl okay so front purl on so thread my my yarn through my front stitch as if to purl but I leave it on the needle and then it's back knit on, so the same, but I go the other direction as if I was to knit, but it stays on the needle. Okay, and then our four instructions are repeated. So we go through them absolutely concentrating. I mean it, no distractions. Okay, so front knit off. So we go through it as if to knit, slide it off the needle. Front purl on. So purl wise, which is right to left, leave it on the needle. Back purl off. Slide it off. Good little tug. Back knit on okay and I say all we do is repeat those okay and that is all we do but it does need that concentration so here we go front knit off front purl on back purl Knit on front knit off front purl on back purl off back knit on Front knit off, front purl on, back purl off, back knit on. If you do need to stop, always stop at number four. Okay, carrying on, front knit off. Front purl on. Back purl off. Back 
it on front knit off front purl on back purl off back knit Front knit off. Front pearl on. Back pearl off. Back knit on. Front knit off. Front pearl on, back pearl off, back knit on, front knit off, front pearl on. Back pearl off, back knit on. Just having a pause because we're at number four, so I can I can have a look. Oh, look, I'm nearly there. I've only got three stitches left on each needle. Concentrating. Front knit off. Front pearl on. Back knit. Pearl off. Back knit on. Front knit off. Front pearl on. Back pearl off. Back knit on. Front knit off. Okay, I've given her a little tug. I've got my last stitch. Look, there it is. So I just put my needle through that pearl wise and I slide my double point off and let's have a look let's see how it looks that is your kitchen stitch okay then all that is left to do is to sew in give it a wriggle and a jiggle just give it a little bit of a, just evens out the stitches. Evens it out. The last stitch look disappears. It's not going to, it's not going to unravel because you've gone through it with your, with your working yarn. And then we're going to, it helps if I get the right side of the needle. We're just going to sew or darn our end in. So I like to go down the side of the seam like that, or across the seam. And then I go back, I'm going through the stitches, but I'm going sort of through them and underneath them so you won't see them from the right side. Okay, give it a wriggle and a jiggle. And we'll just do that three or four times. inside like that then we turn your sock inside out and just snip that tail off and all that is left to do is 
if you've just used one ball of wool, you've just got one other end to darn in, and that's your starting yarn at the beginning. I just like to do the same, I just like to, to weave it. In and out, a few stitches like that. Between the stitches, through the stitches, try and split the yarn a little bit if you can and go through it because that will just will help to hold it in place. There, that's probably enough. Put it through there like that and that, that would just need snipping off and that is a completed sock right to the very end with your kitchener stitch looks like it should be a talking sock and it should be able to talk it needs a couple of eyes so well done i have really enjoyed doing these videos and if you've enjoyed it and you've just completed your first sock or just mastered the heel for the first time well done. And you know what there is to do now? There's another sock to knit. Happy sock knitting.